For this video, we will be talking about the most versatile diamond necklace you should definitely own. Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today's topic will focus on the diamond solitaire necklace and why I think this should be a must-have in every jewelry collection. You might ask, what do you mean by solitaire? According to Vocabulary.com, the word originates from the Latin word solitarius, meaning alone or isolated. Eventually, the word made its way to be used to describe a card game and gemstones. So by definition for jewelries, it means either a necklace, ring, bracelet, or earrings having only a single gemstone, most commonly a diamond. This can be bought in either silver, platinum, or gold, in yellow, white, or rose gold tone settings. The gemstone can also come in any shape, it can be pear-shaped or heart, even ass share cut, but the most common is the brilliant round cut. These diamond solitaire necklaces also come in two forms, one being in a movable pendant, and another one is in a steady form where the diamond pendant is already connected to the necklace chain. Now, why do I think this is the most versatile necklace? First of all, it's because of its design, which seems like the designer is just finding a way to incorporate a tiny piece of diamond on a dainty chain and that's it. It's that simple. And because of its simplicity that makes you want to confidently wear it every day, 24-7. Second reason is the presence of the gemstone, most commonly the diamond. This makes an ordinary chain to have an attractive appeal to it, but at the same time doesn't draw too much attention, making it an ideal jewelry for individuals, who desire to wear their diamond necklace without worrying too much if it fascinated some unwanted bad guys. Next is the fact of it being a diamond jewelry, is the reason why you can wear it dressed down, and even if you dress it up, anyway everywhere. You can wear it with your pajamas or a simple t-shirt or v-neck top, over a turtleneck, or even when you are attending black tie events. Wear it with an open shirt under a suit, or wear it with your fabulous dress or gown, no problem. You can even wear it to the beach, to the gym, or do some errands. This type of diamond necklace just simply elevates whatever you're wearing whatever the occasion is. And if you want to layer it with your other necklaces, you don't have to worry that much because it will just go well with those pieces perfectly. And lastly, because of the price. This type of jewelry is what I consider as a starter diamond necklace because, this has to be one, if not, the most affordable piece of diamond necklace you can get. Several social media personalities and influencers have talked about owning one, posting their reviews, and even considered by many as one of the very first pieces of jewelry they acquired, while building up their jewelry collection. If you ask for some specifics on a perfect diamond solitaire necklace to get that's based on my opinion, I would suggest to get one in the steady pendant version, in platinum setting, and have the length be adjusted to the shortest length, probably into 14 to 15 inches. I choose the steady pendant version because I personally don't like a pendant to be running around my neck, especially when it's just a tiny piece of diamond. And I am very fussy in keeping the pendant just at the center of my neck. Metal types of the diamond necklace doesn't matter, whether it is in yellow gold, white gold, rose gold, or platinum. This will be based on your own preference but for me, I would suggest to get one in platinum, as white metals can both look good on the simplest occasions and even on special events, and white settings can make the diamond come out more sparkly. Again, the final decision will still be up to you anyway because you also need to factor in your personal preference, whether it matters to you to have it on a certain metal tone that looks better against your complexion, or something that would go well with your existing jewelry collection. As for the length, to me, the closest it is to the neck is the most elegant and most versatile length especially for this type of necklace. I'm referring to a length of 14 to 15 inches, also known as the collar length for adults. However, what you should take note when adjusting the necklace to this length is that, the pendant tends to flip upwards every time your neck has some muscle movements like when you're talking or you're moving your head. But personally, this is not an issue because it will just flip back to normal immediately and for me, that flipping of the pendant just makes the diamond sparkle even more. You might ask, where should you get your diamond solitaire necklace? I've listed down a few brands to go to, but before we get into it, please make sure to click the subscribe button to support this channel. 
We have a few options from luxury brands like Tiffany. A classic of the brand is the well-known Diamonds by the Yard, designed by Elsa Peretti. Selections range from specific diamond sizes and color of metal setting. Next brand is Cartier. We can get one from their Cartier d'Amour line, which was previously known as Diamonds Ledgers. Diamond sizes range from extra small to large, and in a setting of your choice. There are also options of other gemstone being offered by the brand, if you're not looking for a diamond necklace. We also have Graf on our list. This ultra-luxurious brand offers specific diamond grades to choose from, or set an appointment to be further assisted with the exact diamond qualities that you're looking for. You can also find yourself heading to Harry Winston to get the perfect diamond solitaire necklace that sparks joy to you. You can even shop for this type of necklace from any local jeweler you like, or even pre-loved because for me, it doesn't matter what brand the necklace came from or if it has no brand or whether it is bought pre-loved. But if you're someone who desires brand association to your jewelry piece and better diamond characteristics then by all means go for what you truly love. I will put the links of all of these options on the description box below. Because of how easy and versatile this necklace is, it has become a favorite for some famous personalities to wear. Some of them even wore this jewelry to some of their shows and films. Examples of diamond solitaires worn by famous people is Elizabeth Taylor, where she wore the necklace in the entire movie of the cat on a hot tin roof. She even wore this necklace on her wedding to her fourth husband, singer Eddie Fisher. Next we have Pippa Middleton, sister of Kate Middleton who is now the Princess of Wales. She is seen wearing the necklace on multiple occasions, proving that this necklace can easily be worn with any outfit. Another famous celebrity sporting the same type of necklace is Taraji P. Henson and she was wearing it in the movie called What Men Want. She was seen wearing the necklace throughout the movie, with every outfit she puts on and she still looked good and well put together with it. Also spotted wearing the necklace is Angelina Jolie while she was in Rome, Italy, watching a main skin concert together with her daughter Shiloh. And of course included in this list is Elsa Peretti herself, who is the genius behind the diamonds by the yard design under Tiffany & Company. These celebrities I mentioned interestingly wore their diamond solitaire necklaces in the length close to their necks, which I said earlier is the most elegant and versatile length for me. If you're not a fan of solitaire pieces because you find the diamond to be too tiny for your liking, you can always go for necklace designs with diamond clusters, like an illusion type setting. This type of diamond setting creates an impression that the pendant is a one whole piece of diamond when in fact it isn't. But whatever your heart desires then, by all means go for it. For me, the diamond solitaire necklace is such a great investment jewelry piece because of all the reasons mentioned earlier, which also makes it one of the most practical type of jewelry to own. Truly a classic piece that is simple but not boring, and beautiful but never ostentatious. And that's it for this video. I hope you already clicked the subscribe button and if you like this video, please give this a thumbs up and maybe leave some comments down below. And until next time, bye bye.